Father, we thank you for another time before your feet. Father, we thank you for the mightiness of the name of the Lord and your name which is above all names. Father, we thank you for your power which is the greatest power. We thank you for your power which is the absolute power. Father, I'm praying that as many as are joining to this program today, you are the great physician, meaning that you can heal bodily sicknesses, you can heal sicknesses of the soul, you can heal sicknesses of the spirit. Father, let all the sicknesses in these three areas of life be healed now in the name of Jesus. Let the sicknesses be removed in the name of Jesus. Father, you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Move in the lives of all those who are joining this program by the power of the God of Elijah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Move in their lives by the power of the God of Elijah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Move in their lives by the power of the God of Elijah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Move in their lives by the power of the God of Elijah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I decree by the decree of heaven upon those who are joining this program that any power calculating the hours of your existence in an attempt to waste you shall be suddenly wasted in the name of Jesus. And I decree that any calamity that the devil is bringing your way in the future will scatter by fire, 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 will scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. All the witchcraft battles that the enemy is bringing against you shall backfire and die in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And any power that is assigned to sell you as a slave, I command those powers to be disgraced. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And right there where you are, any collective evil family garment that affects the old family, your case shall be different as those garments shall catch fire now in the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost shall clothe you with a garment of power to overcome every strange attack in the name of Jesus. And I'm praying like this. Any battle that wants to strip you naked in your family, I command the battle to catch fire. 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 In the name of Jesus, any problem surrounding your name, the fire of God shall shake them out. The fire of God shall shake them out. The fire of God shall shake them out. In the name of Jesus, your glory shall receive the dew of God from heaven, and you shall rejoice, and you shall rejoice, and you shall rejoice, and you shall rejoice. In the name of Jesus, as from today, every day of your life shall become a disappointment to your enemies. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and listen to this very well, and let there be a sevenfold amen as I pray this prayer for you. Powers that wasted your parents' destiny and are looking for you. They shall receive the hour of death in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And anything in your life that is inviting failure, I command those things to catch fire in the name of Jesus. I command those things to catch fire in the name of Jesus. The God of heaven shall arise and turn your lamentation to joy in the mighty name of Jesus. It will turn your lamentation to joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Your destiny keys in the coffins of wicked elders shall arise and locate you. Shall arise and locate you. Your destiny keys in the coffin of the wicked elders shall arise and locate you. In the name of Jesus, any power planning to afflict you and to consume you shall die suddenly in the name of Jesus. Shall die suddenly in the name of Jesus. Any power that is cursing your existence shall receive angelic slapper. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and a sevenfold amen to this next prayer, the power sealing your garment of joy to replace it with garment of reproach shall receive the arrow of death in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And now I decree that the fire of the Almighty God shall swallow every strange fire. Threatening your existence in the name of Jesus. The fire of the Almighty God shall swallow every strange fire. Threatening your existence in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And any attempt by the enemy to replace your field of blessings with a field of battle shall receive failure in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Tonight we are going to listen to this message which has blessed many lives. God bless you in Jesus' name. Tonight, by the grace of God, we are looking at what I call Send Your Word. Send Your Word. In Hosea chapter 14, verse 2, Send Your Word. Hosea chapter 14, verse 2. Take with you words. Take with you words. And turn to the Lord. Say unto him, Take away all iniquity and receive us graciously. So we will render the calves of our lips. Take with you words. Now listen to me carefully. Our battle is a battle of words. Our warfare is a warfare of words. We create by our words. Whether it's life or death, we create by our words. Jesus said, If any of you shall say unto the mountain, words, say, Be thou removed. Those are the words the person is speaking. Be thou removed and be cast into the sea. And shall not doubt in his mind, but shall believe that what is said will come to pass. So it shall be so. Again, words. Take with you words. With words, God created the world. By our words, we can remove obstacles. By our words, we can remove mountains. Our own words are like raw materials with which we create or we kill. Our weapons are created by our words. Our weapons, the bomb of our mouth, is detonated when we bring it forth. Our weapons of our warfare, they are detonated by words. Miracles are spoken into existence by words. Powers that fight our battles, they are activated by the spoken words. It is therefore necessary for you to become an oracle of God. When you become an oracle of God, his words in your mouth become as effective as his own words in his own mouth. You will speak words vomited by the Holy Ghost and things will begin to happen. God said to Ezekiel, Son of man, what do you see? Valley of dry bones. Say, Son of man, can these bones live? He said, Oh Lord, down rest. I don't know what you know. So okay. Professor, unto the dry bones that they might live. And the man began to talk. Began to talk. Began to talk. Began to talk. Beloved, what am I trying to explain to you? Our battle is in our mouth. Our weapon is in our mouth. Unfortunately, many Christians don't understand this. And so they waste their words. They de-anoint themselves. They fritter away the power in their mouth. And then they become powerless. The children of darkness, they understand the power of words. When you see somebody making incantations, what he is saying is words. He's giving satanic instruction. He's activating demons with the words that he's speaking. Many of us don't know the impact of what words do in the spiritual realm. But the children of darkness, they do. 
There are two situations that I need to bring to your attention. You might have heard me sharing them before. One day, close to an abattoir where they kill animals, they were bringing a cow to the slaughter. And normally, for some reasons, the animals could smell blood that some animals had died, and they don't want to die, so they become very aggressive. It's difficult sometimes bringing them. They will struggle, they will fight. Sometimes the animals will cry. You see them shedding tears. They're dragging them to the slaughter. So this cow did not want to go. It was a big, hectic cow. All of a sudden, nobody knew what went wrong. The man at the front that was holding the rope, the cow was able to pull the rope off his hand. The cow was not let loose. Everybody began to run a casketa. Every direction the cow ran, he threw stall, threw market, threw everything upside down. When that one is down, the cow gets up again, goes to the next direction. And the morning, nobody could do anything again. I was watching. A bus was passing. A Molue bus. There was a conductor at the back of the bus. He saw what was happening. This conductor jumped down from the bus, walked straight to this mad cow, and started talking. I didn't know what he said. He talked, talked. The cow sat down. The cow sat down. He called the man who was holding the rope. And then the rope again, back to the man. The cow was still sitting down. This boy jumped into his bus and off he moved away. Spoke words. It was words that he spoke. Those are satanic people. Satanic people. I'm praying for somebody here that every incantation, every word uttered by the enemy against your destiny shall, as a matter of necessity, backfire. They shall backfire. They shall backfire. They shall backfire. In the name of Jesus. The witch doctors, they do not need to live where they are before they can finish anybody off. One man ran here many years back. I was sorry for him. He said, I was a man. Anytime they want to destroy anybody, you pay the man. And you show the man the address of the person you want to kill. And the man would just stand at the front of the house and begin to speak words. Words. He could stand for one hour talking. Words. 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 After one hour, he goes back home. And he will tell the person who sent him. When they start crying in the house, come and pay my balance. And it was, this terrible man was effective. What happened was this. This man who ran out for prayers. He started running after the wife of this killer man. And the man found him with his wife. The man said, eh? You? You have not heard about me? You are finished. He knew that the man needed to have an address. He knew that the man needed to stand at the front of the person's house for a minimum of one hour. So, the man thought in his intelligence. Okay, if the man has to stand at the front of the house, if I don't enter any house, then I'm okay. So, beginning from that day, he became a vagabond. He could not enter into any house because the killer man will come at the front of the house. So, he was going from VG to VG, from church to church, because of the fear of the killer man. That's what drove him here. And I said, ah, Did you know, know that he was a killer man before running after his wife? He said, I didn't know. It was later the woman told me. He spoke words. He was at College of Medicine at the back many, many years ago. There used to be a man there who sells pigs. A young man of about 23, 24 came to buy pig. One pig. But he didn't pick up the pig that day. He left it with the man. The man selling the pig is above 70. And he was known to be a very wicked man. The man bought the pig. He didn't pick up the pig. But the second day after he bought the pig, the pig died. So when he now went to pick his pig the third day, the seller of the pig, the old man, said, well, the pig you bought died. So you need to buy another one. I said, ah, but I, I didn't take it away from him. So you have to give me another one. You must give me another one. The old man said, no, there will be no pig for you. 
The young man said, you must give me. It became a big round. And you know in Lagos, even if two cocks are fighting, people gather. So they gathered already, watching them. Those who knew the man was wicked, they warned the young man. He said, young man, forget pig. Go home, don't die. This man is wicked. Go home. The man just said, before I can't three, get away from here. If not, I will finish you. The young man said, I want my pig. The old man ran inside, brought a horn, having a viper tooth, and began incantation. Words against this young man. The public that were gathered, they moved far when the incantation started. And they were saying, young man, go away. Go away. But the young man stood there. And the man started to make incantation. Was making incantation. Was making incantation. After making the incantation to some level. So remove your trouser. Move your shirt. The young man laughed. I said, Baba, have you finished your incantation? Okay. I will take it from where you stopped. And he now started his own incantation. When the Baba heard what the man was saying, it was like a primary school student contesting with a professor. I said, ah! Agbanya. He ran quickly. Take three pigs. Three. Go. Don't go. Words. What he spoke were words. The, what destabilized him was words. I'm praying for you that the words that will shock your enemies, that will disgrace them openly, you will speak it in the name of Jesus. Your mouth is the pilot of your aircraft. Your mouth is the compass of your life. Your mouth is the control room of your life. Your mouth is the engine room of your life. Your mouth is the driver of your car. Your mouth is what determines what happens, whether it's death or life to you. A close mouth, therefore, is a close destiny. There is a powerful weapon that will always take you to the top. That weapon is in your mouth if you know how to use it. When you speak in tongues too, those words are mysterious words that the enemy cannot decode. Because if you are facing a mysterious warfare, you must speak mysterious words. I'm praying for you that for every power, that will rise against you. A word from heaven will cut them off. Let your amen be loud and clear. I decree that whenever the circumstances around you become unfavorable, you shall love a word that will make it favorable. Whenever there is conspiracy against you, the Holy Ghost will drop a word that you are going to apply in the name of Jesus. And I declare upon your life that with the word that you are going to speak, every lion standing in your way shall die. Let that amen be loud and clear. Without word in your mouth, every Goliath standing in your way shall catch fire in the name of Jesus. Without word in your mouth, every conspiracy against you will be disgraced. Listen carefully. The word in your mouth has the capacity to destroy every witchcraft tongue gathered against you. One word just one word that you vomit by the Holy Ghost is enough to give you uncommon victory. Once you just open that mouth and heaven takes over and you begin to speak, those words will cut off every enemy assigned against you. If they like, they can bury hundred cows against you. If they like, they can bury hundred fowls because of you. If they like, they can remove their clothes and cast you nakedly. One word. One, one. One word. 
We disgrace them in the name of Jesus. Peter was sinking in the ship. And he said, Lord, save me. He spoke. And that word he spoke. Delivered him. When Peter saw Jesus walking on the water, he said, Lord, if you are the one, ask me to come. Jesus spoke only one word. He said, come. That was all. Immediately, come sounded. Peter was empowered to walk upon the waters. Meaning that anything, anything at all, you can talk to it. You can talk to your car. You can talk to your kitchen. You can talk to your house. You can talk to your clothes. If you are still swallowing drugs, you can talk to the drug. Because let me tell you, some of those drugs people swallow, it's not that they are not effective. But as they are swallowing it, there is a neutralizing power that neutralizes it. Or another power, open a second throat. The tablet will go to one throat. It's only water you are going to swallow. You think it's tablet. You can talk to it. You can talk to your bank account. You can talk to the examination paper. You can talk to your pen. That's why they say the spiritual man is mad. It's mad. Because he's talking to things that normal people don't talk to. What you don't know is this. It's only in biology and chemistry and, and science we talk about living things and non-living things. As far as Bible is concerned, everything has ears and they can hear you. I'm praying for somebody today. The words you are going to speak shall embarrass your enemies. Shall expose and disgrace them. In the name of Jesus. A sample for the Lord. Listen to these statements. Words have creative power. Words have double barrel power. Words have tearing down power. Words have undying power. Words have healing power. Words can work wonders. Words can poison and destroy. Words can deliver from difficulty and trouble. Words can move mountains. Words can shape and define our lives. Words have directing power. Words can color our lives. Words have destructive power. Words have the power of life and death. Words have uprooting power. Words have building power. Words have spreading power. God is a God of speech and a God of words. All things were made by the word of God. All things exist by the word of God. Jesus spoke to angry waves and they were silenced. Jesus spoke to the dead and they lived. Jesus spoke to the fig tree and it died. Words enter into the spiritual realm first and then bring forth the manifestation of good things or evil things. Listen, the human body is designed to respond to words. Words are a dynamic force. Words are swords we use in battle for success and happiness. Words can produce wonders. Words can produce horrors. This is why we must learn the principle of speaking words. Words that can bring good things to our lives. Whether we like it or not, accusations, interrogations, antagonisms will always come against our lives. We need to be able to speak the appropriate words at the appropriate seasons to cope with this. You will say what I'm going to say loud and clear now. But if you're not born again, you've not surrendered your life to Jesus. Right there where you are. 
Just say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from now, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, amen. I thank you for your children who have joined this program. Meet each and everyone at the point of their needs. Do great, marvelous, wondrous, outstanding things in their lives in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 I thank God for those of you who surrender their life to Jesus Christ in this program. God bless you in Jesus' name. You've taken the most important decision in life, and I rejoice with you. For more information, counseling, and prayers, kindly send your name, your address, your telephone number to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. You can also send us an email. The email address is also displayed on the screen, and we shall be getting across to you shortly. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Stretch your right hand, Father. This hand that your children stretch for, let it carry the fire of God. Let it carry the power of God. Let it carry the anointing that breaketh yokes. In the name of Jesus. Lay that hand on your mouth and leave it there for a few seconds. Father, as these hands are laid upon the mouth, let the electric current of the Holy Ghost begin to flow from these hands into the different mouths gathered there. So that when they speak tonight, evil shall flee. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Say this loud and clear now. Say, I speak against every Goliath posting against my life. And I decree that when you sleep tonight, you will not wake up again. In the name of Jesus, I speak against every power contesting with my moving forward. That by the power of the God of Elijah, I cut you off. I cut you off. I cut you off. I cut you off. In the name of Jesus. A sample for the night. Please thank you, Kutich. Don't let anybody's voice be louder than yours. Oh God, arise by your mercy. Let my book of remembrance be opened. In the name of Jesus. Let my book of remembrance be opened. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. By the mercy of God, I command my breakthroughs to manifest. In the name of Jesus. I command my breakthroughs to manifest. In the name of Jesus. Somebody's breaking through. E Jesus, then we pray. Say, so, oh God, arise by your mercy. Single me out for miracles. In the name of Jesus. Single me out for miracles. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, by your mercies, O oh God, I terminate sweat and struggles. In the name of Jesus. In 
Jesus name we pray. Oh God, arise by your mercy. Let all my cage benefits be released. In the name of Jesus. Let my cage benefit be released. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. So I claim divine intervention. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and claim divine intervention. Jesus, then we pray. Stretch your right hand. Father, this hands that are stretched forward. The word says, we shall lay our hands on the sick, and the sick shall recover. These hands that are stretched here, let them become the hands of healing. The hands of deliverance. The hands of power. The hands of strength. The hands of glory. The hands of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, let these hands become the battle axe of God. In the name of Jesus, get us separated now. Anywhere you are having pain or disability in your body, smite it 21 times. And as you smite it, you will shout, Blood of Jesus. Let's go. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray.